He hasn't been the kid from that Christmas movie for a long time, and not the downtrodden loser he was at the end of his fame. Today, this 43-year-old man is an exemplary family man who is crazy about his chosen one and a loving father who adores his sons. He has experienced a rapid rise, a series of deafening falls. But I found the courage to stand up and move on, and he managed to find simple human happiness. Macaulay grew up in a large family and was the third of seven children. He has four brothers and two sisters. Calkin stars were missing from the sky. My father is a failed Broadway actor. He left the stage a long time ago and worked in the church. My mother worked as a telephone operator. The whole family huddled in a small apartment on the outskirts of New York and barely made ends meet. The head of the family, Christopher Cornelius Culkin, dreamed of fame and big money in his youth, but he never reached any heights in acting. He decided to realize his dreams in children. As soon as Macaulay and his siblings learned to walk and talk, he began taking them to auditions, offering them to theaters and film studios. At the same time, he did not care about the opinion of the children themselves. Their father was just putting them in front of the fact, and if necessary, he used threats and even physical force. Little Macaulay really had acting skills. The boy was taken to a theater studio, and a teacher was hired. He was not even four years old when he first entered the theater stage. As Mac himself later recalled, the stage then seemed so huge to him that he was afraid to remain unnoticed on it. Therefore, he literally shouted his lines loudest of all. The loud kid was very fond of the audience, and almost all the gifts, toys, and flowers after the performances went to him. Soon Mac was noticed by advertising clipmakers. His kind, smiling face was perfect for videos. By the age of eight, the child prodigy was already an advertising star, a theater actor, and attended ballet school. And then gradually he began acting in films. The first roles were episodic, and these episodes weren't even always included in the movies. One day on the set, the boy met producer and director John Hughes. This meeting changed the rest of the guy's life. Hughes was so inspired by the boy's work that he came up with the idea of a Christmas comedy and wrote the main role in the script specifically for Culkin. So the boy became the main star of the movie Home Alone. At that time, he was only 10 years old. In an instant, Macaulay woke up famous. For the role of Kevin McAllister, the boy received a fee of $100,000 and entered the Guinness Book of Records as the highest paid young actor. He was nominated for prestigious film awards and received awards. The studios inundated the boy with offers. Many people certainly wanted to get a talented child in their films. His father began to run all his son's affairs. Christopher Culkin negotiated and signed contracts. The parent was not at all interested in his son's opinion, whether he liked this or that project, whether he wanted to star in it. Having immediately assessed the commercial prospects, Culkin Sr. tried to make the most of the situation. With each film, the financial appetites of the head of the family grew. Soon Macaulay's fees were in the millions of dollars. These were unprecedented sums for the Culkin family. In the theater, too, things have rapidly gone up the hill. Ticket prices for performances with Max participation have increased dramatically, and they were still sold out for months ahead. Such a success could only be dreamed of. The father shamelessly exploited the child, but luck could not last forever, and the family assembly line began to malfunction. Films with the grown-up Macaulay, one after another, began to fail at the box office. Anti-awards and devastating articles in the press followed. But Culkin Sr. was not at all embarrassed by this. Moreover, he demanded from the film studios that other children of the family be filmed together with Mac. And of course, he insisted on increasing the fees. As a result, the movie bosses simply refused to do business with the head of the family. And then Macaulay himself rebelled. The guy told his parents that he was tired, wanted to take a break, and in general, he was tired of all this, and flatly refused to act further. This demarche caused a conflict in the family. The mother sided with her son. My father demanded to continue working. Legal proceedings and divorce followed. Each of the parents wanted to take custody of the children for themselves. But it wasn't so much about the kids. The fight was over the trust fund with $17 million Macaulay earned in the movies.
As a result, the mother received custody. However, Mac decided to hedge his bets and transferred the management of the fund to his accountant through the court. After that, the father disappeared from the family's life forever, and relations with his mother, brothers, and sisters have become cool. As Macaulay later said, he did not have a normal childhood like all his peers. In the pursuit of profit, his father simply deprived him of normal childhood joys. And Mac doesn't regret at all that he crossed out his parents' names from the foundation. It turned out to be a kind of divorce. Culkin tried to pursue a career in film, but the funny kid has grown up a long time ago. The childish charm dissipated like smoke, and he was no longer offered major roles. Family squabbles, tabloid media attention, the decline of a film career, the death of Dakota's sister, all greatly affected Macaulay's mental health. The guy felt abandoned and lonely, and at first he went all out, and then he disappeared from the radar altogether for 10 years, trying to live a normal life. Culkin took up his education, enrolled in a theater school. There he met actress Rachel Minor and got married at the age of 17. But the marriage turned out to be a mistake and fell apart two years later. Next, Mac had an affair with actress Myla Kunis, which lasted nine years. The couple was even going to get married, but it didn't work out. The young lady could not stand the character and harmful addictions of her chosen one. They parted as friends and still speak of each other with respect. Macaulay found the strength to curb his inner demons and get rid of addictions. He began to go back to the theater stage and star in commercials. He launched a rapid activity in social networks, and a light appeared in his black tunnel. He was invited to the cinema again. One of the latest projects with his participation today is the 10th season of the series American Horror Story. Of course, it is no longer necessary to talk about the former glory, but Mac no longer aspires to it. I drank it in full at the time. His personal life has also improved. In 2017, the actor met Asian actress Brenda Song, with whom he began a romantic relationship. This time it turned out to be serious. On April 5, 2021, the couple had a son, Dakota Song Culkin. Culkin named his son Dakota after his late sister. Five years after they met, Mac still loves his beloved dearly. In December 2022, Macaulay and Brenda became parents for the second time. They had a baby boy named Carson. They say the couple is going to formalize their relationship officially. And Macaulay himself calls himself a happy and accomplished man. And he definitely deserved his happiness.